In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to import and use the Gutenberg templates. All of the Gutenberg templates have been built using the Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg plugin. So before we do anything with the templates, let's head on over to the WordPress dashboard and install the Ultimate Add-ons plugin. So select plugins, add new, and search Ultimate Add-ons for Gutenberg. It's this first plugin here, which is by Brainstorm Force. So select Install Now and Activate. Now you can download and import a template. So head to the Gutenberg template library, choose which one you like and select Download. Once you have downloaded the JSON file to your computer, go back to the WordPress dashboard and add a new page. In the top menu bar, select the plus button to add a block and come over to the reusable tab. Down here, select manage all reusable blocks. In here, you can now import the JSON file that you just downloaded. So select import from JSON, upload your file and import. The template won't show automatically in the list. Instead, you'll see a message at the top here that reads reusable block imported successfully. Once you see that message, go back to pages and add another page. And again, select the Add Block button, go over to Reusable, and now you'll see the template ready to use. Before you can make any edits to the template, you do need to convert it back to regular blocks. So come up near the template name, and next to it, select Convert to Regular Blocks. If you're new to Gutenberg or the Ultimate Add-ons plugin, I'm going to show you around and show you how to navigate where to make edits. So let's start by adding in a pre-made Studio Cart auto form. Up here in the top menu bar is the list view. This is an easy way to navigate through all of the blocks. So we'll scroll down to the Studio Cart order form block. And now over here in the block editor, you can choose your pre-made order form. As you can see, the form doesn't show in this window. To see how your form looks, you have to select preview and preview in a new tab. Here you can see what your form looks like and check it before making the page live. Let's go back to the page editor and I'll show you a couple of the blocks and their customization features. This is a section block. You will see this block a few times throughout the template. It's quite versatile and can be used to create a few different types of elements. Over here in the block editor, you can see the customization options. So here you have the sizing, the spacing, so padding and margins, and also different background options. This is the advanced heading block, also a common block used in the templates. Again, the customization options are over here in the block editor. If you select the tiny spanner icon, you can make changes to the font and the font size, the font weight and the line height. And then you also have options 
to make these responsive. So you have desktop view, tablet view, and mobile view. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now you can add your content and your branding, and then don't forget to select publish when you're done.